Okay, so welcome to the first uh, session of our subject in engineering data analysis. So by the way, I am Engineer Francisco A. De La Sala Jr., your instructor for this uh, course, for the subject. So uh, this first session will be, uh, we'll be talking about the subject itself. So this will be our subject orientation. Okay. So the title of the subject is engineering data analysis. So the number of units is three units. So all are lecture. Then the duration is three hours per week. So it is a three unit lecture. So it will be three hours per week. Per week. The prerequisite is calculus one or differential calculus. So we have the course description. So this course is designed for undergraduate engineering students with emphasis on problem solving related to societal issues that engineers and scientists are called upon to solve. It introduces different methods of data collection and, and the suitability of using a particular method of a given situation. The relationship of Probability to statistics is also discussed, providing students with the tools they need to understand how chance plays a role in statistical analysis. Probability distributions of random variables and their uses are also considered. Along with a discussion of linear functions of random variables within the context of their application to data analysis and inference. The course also includes estimation techniques for unknown parameters and hypothesis testing used in making inferences from sample to population, inference of regression parameters and build models for estimating means and predicting future values of key variables under study. Finally, statistically based exper experimental design techniques and analysis of outcomes of experiments are discussed with the aid of a statistical software. So, uh, with that course description, we have the uh, idea what is the course or the subject all about. So, it is a course for undergraduate students, undergraduate engineering students that emphasis on problem sol solving related to societal issues. So, the concept of the subject or the concept tackled in the subject is the different methods of data collection also the relationship between probability to statistics then you have also probability distribution uh, a statistical a statistical inference hypothesis testing and other techniques that can be used in uh, data analysis and also the use of a statistical software so from the from that we will have our grading grading system. So major exams, the prelim, midterm, and final exam will be thirty three point thirty three percent of your grade. Then the quizzes is thirty three point three percent, and your group or individual paper presentation assignment portfolio seat work will be thirty three point four percent. So the total of that is one hundred percent. Then we have the course outcome. So out of the course description, we will have our co course outcome. So at the end of this course, the student will be able to first apply statistical methods in the analysis of data, then compute the probability distribution of a random variable for both discrete and continuous data. And the last one is design experiments involving several factors. Then we will go now to our topics. So our first topics will be obtaining data. So our first discussion will be about the methods of data collection. Then we will go to planning and conducting surveys. Then planning and conducting experiments. So this is introduction to design of experiments. And we will have a review of your basic statistical methods. Then we have probability. So we will have the introduction to probability, sample space and relationships among events, 
counting rules use, useful in probability and the rules of probability. Then we have discrete probability distribution. So this topic will consist of five lessons. We have random variables under uh, probability distribution, cumulative distribution functions, expected values of random variables, the binomial distribution, and the Poisson distribution. Then we will have continuous probability distribution. So we have five topics, uh, five lessons for this topic also. First, the continuous random variables under probability distribution, Ex expected values of continuous random variables, normal distribution, normal approximation to the binomial and Poisson distribution, and the exponential distribution. Then the fifth topic will be joint probability distribution. So we have here the um, we have how many lessons this one add? We have three lessons. The first lesson two or random variables. So it has uh, three sub uh, topics or sub lessons. So first is that is the joint probability distribution, the marginal probability distribution, the conditional probability distribution, and the fourth one is the more than two random variables. Uh, topic. Okay, then we have these last three uh, topics here. We have linear functions of random variables and general function of random variables. Okay, so the sixth topic, so sampling distribution and point estimation of parameters. So we have three topics, uh, three lessons. So we have for the first one will be point estimation. The second is sampling distribution at the central limit theorem. The third one is general concept of point estimation, which has uh, four sub lessons: so unbiased estimator, variance of a point estimator, standard error, and mean squared error of an estimator. Then we have a statistical interval, the seventh topic. So it has four lessons. So we have confidence intervals, so single sample, confidence interval for multiple samples prediction intervals and tolerance intervals then the uh, eighth topic so we have test of hypothesis for single samples we will go now to hypothesis testing so the first topic the first lesson has uh, three sub lessons so we have the introduction to hypothesis testing so we have one-sided and two-sided hypothesis p-value in the hy hypothesis test then we have the general procedure for test of hypothesis. Then the second topic is test of mean of a normal distribution. The variance is known. Test on the mean of the normal distribution. The variance is, uh, the variance is unknown. Test on the variance at a statistical deviation of a normal distribution. And the last topic is test on a population proportion. Then the ninth uh, topic we have the statistical inference of two samples so we have four lessons inference on the difference in means of two normal distributions so variance is known inference on the difference in means of two normal distributions so variances are known inference on the variance of two normal distributions and inference on two population proportions then I believe this is the last topic for the subject. So we have the 10 topics, simple linear regression and correlation. So we have the first lesson will be the empirical models. Then the next to that we will discuss about regression. So modeling linear relationships, so the least square approach. Then we'll go to correlation, estimating the strength of linear relation. Then we have hypothesis test in simple linear regression. So it has uh, two sub lessons. So the use of t tests and the analysis of variance approach to test significance of regression. Then we have uh, another lesson on the prediction of new observations, adequacy of regression models. So it has uh, two sub lessons. We have the residual analysis and the coefficient of determination. And the last lesson will be the correlation okay so for our books and our 
references for this uh, subject. We, uh, we have no um, prescribed textbook, but we have three references. So first, we have the book by uh, Mayers. So the title of the book will be uh, is uh, Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists. It is ninth uh, edition. Then we have the book by Hater. So that is Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists, the fourth edition. And the last uh, book will be Fundamentals of Probability and Statistics for Engineers, the first edition by Su Ong T. Okay, so that will be all for our um, subject orientation. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy learning.